Hi there, you're on Gossip Says channel. Enjoy watching, subscribe and like it. It's growing our community. Story 1. 38F41M desperately trying to work through challenging behaviors. 11-month relationship. He moved into my flat a few weeks after we met so even though it's not long, it has escalated quickly and has been intense. He has sold his house and moved several miles to live with me. Was it an impulse decision or was he truly in love with me? I can never decide. When things are good, he is the most amazing person. Caring, loving, committed. We have had some truly joyful times together and I was so excited to have this incredible man in my life. He has supported me in so many ways and we shared many adventures. I built a great relationship with his parents and felt part of the family. I'm from another country and have no family of my own here. However, when things are bad, they are the worst I have ever experienced. Yelling, name calling, throwing things, constant breakups, accusations of cheating, cold shoulder, stonewalling, you name it. He does have a short temper and potential anger problems. I am a sensitive person and really don't react well in tension. I freeze like a deer in the headlight, feel attacked, and therefore become defensive. I'm not a pushover, but definitely a massive people pleaser always on the lookout for his needs rather than mine, anxiously trying to keep the peace. I'm also not very good at asserting myself. Sometimes I feel like his anger is justified and he is right in saying that I'm the problem, and he just can't control it. Therefore, it's oak to treat me lyle this. I know deep down that a lot of it is abuse and not oak at all. There have been some pretty bad examples, but he never hit me physically. Despite all this, I think he is also just a human with flaws, like everyone including me. And I genuinely don't think he does any of this out of malice. He is probably insecure and anxious, and has some kind of emotional regulation issue or mental health problem. I would love to treat that as spirit from the person that he is. He has broken up with me countless times. Sometimes he came back. Sometimes I asked him to give us a chance to work it out. I feel like I let him down in many ways, like decorating the hallway or having the door replaced or planning the kind of holidays he enjoys. There are other examples too. I just don't think I deserve the abuse, even if he is unhappy with some things. How can such an amazing person be so awful to me? How can this be a rollerocter of gold and absolute rotten? How could I do anything differently? I never seem to have the right words he wants to hear at the right time, even though my heart is full with him. I can't turn to friends anymore because I feel I have turned to them so much and still am going against their advice, trying to still desperately pursue this relationship. I have been in counseling for a while, but didn't find it helpful and it was too expensive for that. I should probably go back to a previous one I saw and got a lot of support from. The news today, we are breaking up probably for good this time. My self-esteem is in ruins, and whilst I enjoyed singledom before with lots of friends and hobbies, there is nothing on this planet that replaces love and romance and a partnership for me. I dread him moving out. I dread living together until then. I'm fearful of being on my own again and forever solo. I'm dreading losing the amazing side of him and feel like I could have done better. I should have done things differently to avoid this, and I'm obviously partly to blame even though I genuinely tried all I can. I'm not sure if I'm asking something or just want to vent, but I am in need of support, please. Story 2. My 29F boyfriend, 30M, said I'm a negative person, yet when I offer to change my behavior, he begs me not to change who I am. Some context. My biff is demisexual. He told me experiences sexual repulsion with sexual media. It feels to him like witnessing gore. He also does photography and has photos he took and follows models on his IG. Last month, he saw an old post of me on IG from before we were dating, which I was wearing a sheer shirt for my friend's album cover. He wrote me long text messages about how it makes him deeply uncomfortable to see that, and he feels sexual repulsion when he sees sexual media and seeing me in that photo amplified the feelings of repulsion. He also mentioned that it makes him uncomfortable because he doesn't know who has semi-nudes of me and I could be sending them to anyone. He also said that he feels unheard and not understood when it comes to his demisexuality. He said he would feel more comfortable if the photo of me didn't exist. I then saw that he was liking a lot of his model friends, semi-nudes on Instagram, even recently. 
photos that were more sexual than the one of me. We had a long discussion about it, and I said that it seems like a double standard, him liking semi-nudes on IG. But the one I posted from before we were dating makes him repulsed and deeply uncomfortable. He said he only liked the photos because they were his friends and he was trying to support them. I moved past it, but yesterday he mentioned to me how he was having anxiety. He said he was anxious about bringing things up to me and he was repressing then because he was afraid of my reaction. Based on my precious reaction to him, mentioning his discomfort with my IG photo, my reaction was upset. I felt like he was being a bit controlling and hypocritical of me. I don't think my reaction was abnormal, but now I'm doubting myself. I have previous relationship trauma and I'm worried about his behavior, not aligning with what he tells me. I'm worried that this is the start of a controlling relationship. We've been together a year and are talking about moving in together, but I'm afraid of moving into another controlling relationship. I'm worried that he's trying to make me feel as though my normal reaction was inappropriate and scary just because I was upset and told him how I felt and mentioning me not understanding his deminess as the reason I was upset. Another thing, he also was babysitting my cats while I was away on vacation and commented on how he found lube and vag mags in my apartment. They were 80s fetish magazines that I collect. I felt a bit violated like he was snooping my place and finding sexual things to comment on while I was on vacation. I'm afraid of moving forward and living with him. I just want to know if this is something that is more of a me thing. Not understanding where he is coming from as a demisexual with sexual repulsion. I'm willing to learn more about his feelings, but I also don't want to feel controlled or like there is a double standard. Story 3. My 29F boyfriend, 30M, said I'm a negative person. Yet when I offer to change my behavior, he begs me not to change who I am. My boyfriend blurted out the other night while watching TV that I'm often a negative person. He said this because I said something negative about what was happening in a TV show we're watching. I also earlier at the store he said that I said negative things about pumpkin spice flavored stuff and hot chocolate. He says I casually say negative things about certain foods and TV shows. He said he didn't mean to hurt me while blurting that out while we were watching TV and didn't realize that what he said could be perceived as insulting. We argued about it that night because I literally couldn't understand what he wanted from me. He said I say negative things often, but he couldn't really give me concrete examples besides saying I don't like certain foods. He said that I harshly critiqued a YouTube video he showed me last year and that hurt his feelings because he was excited to show me. I asked for more examples of ways I've hurt him with my negativity, and he couldn't think of any. I'm very confused because he shows me YouTube videos all the time and I tell him how much I love them. That one incident last year was the only one I can remember. But he said, there have been others, I just can't think of them. We ended the conversation with me acknowledging that I need to say things nicer when I'm critiquing or giving my opinion on things he shows me. He says showing me YouTube videos is his love language. I can be too harsh and opinionated in situations when I don't like something. However, I told him I was hurt that he said I had a huge personality flaw so casually. I was very upset, guilty, and disturbed that my partner sees me in such a negative light and acknowledged I need to change these behaviors. All of a sudden, he started backtracking and saying that the comments about food and stuff doesn't matter because it's not hurting anybody. I just need to be nicer when I'm critiquing something somebody shows me. Again, he could only give me one example in the last year of me doing this. He explicitly said that he doesn't want me to change who I am, and he loves that I'm so bold and opinionated, and he says being negative isn't a personality flaw. I said I was confused because he felt it was enough to bring up in conversation. Today we talked, and I acknowledged that I tend to lean more negatively in how I speak so I accept that I need to change that flawed thinking. I struggle with depression and am currently going through an episode. So this has opened my eyes to how the world may be perceiving me. I told my boyfriend that I will work on cleaning up my negativity when I'm around him. He started crying and saying he never wanted me to change who I am, and he regrets bringing up this at all. He said that he's thought about it more, and he's changed his mind that I'm a negative person. And now he disagrees with his original blanket statement about my personality. He says I'm an opinionated person and can have harsh opinions, but I'm not negative all the time. He doesn't want me to change who I am at all or how I act. 
I'm horribly confused now because I just was told I was a negative person with some supporting evidence. And now all of a sudden that's not the case and any attempt at me to acknowledge and fix this behavior is met with begging and apologizing. How should I respond to all of this? Story 4. Age gap relationship between F20 and M48. Can a relationship with such a significant age gap work? This is a topic I have been struggling with for a while now. I am a 20-year-old woman studying in South Africa. I gym five to six days a week at the same time each morning. Due to my routine, I see the people at the gym every day, as one could expect. I've managed to make a few friends slash acquaintances through this, normal stuff, a hey, how are you type of relationship. A few months ago, I really needed a spot for bench press, so I asked one of the regulars. I should preface this by saying that I have thought he was an attractive man long before I approached him to spot me. It just so happens that my usual spotter was not in the gym that morning. I asked the guy, and he agreed. I did my sets, he helped me load and unload my weights as needed, as I was doing drop sets. We got to talking of course, and we had a really refreshing conversation about our gym routines and journeys. We ended up talking for close to an hour, in between exercises, and I really enjoyed it. We ended up exchanging numbers, with the intention to gym together when we needed a partner. We ended up talking all day, every day, for the past seven months. We now gym together almost every day. Thing is, this man is almost the same age as my father. There is like a 20 plus year age gap between us. We ended up going for drinks about two months ago and I had the best time. I genuinely enjoy being around him. He is a kind, considerate, attentive man. I picked up a romantic vibe between us and about a month ago, he asked me to go to dinner with him. I agreed. He took me to a place I mentioned briefly a few weeks ago, which I love, and he remembered. We spoke for about four hours on end, and I felt my heart soften. He is an amazing man. We have continued to gym together since then, and we have become more affectionate to one another. Subtle touches here and there, laughing at my stupid jokes, and listening to me when I speak about the difficulties my studies sometimes bring. We went on another date three weeks ago, and once again, we spent close to six hours together. He took me to my favorite coffee place, ice cream place, and we ended up having a bit of a walk. We ended up kissing at the end, and I have never in my life felt so attracted to anyone. Despite him being incredibly attractive, he is very successful. He never married due to his demanding career. We are in the same field, which requires long shifts, studying ridiculous hours, and balancing a lot of factors. He has since scaled down and has taken more of a consulting position, making his hours more manageable. Since our last date, we have been almost inseparable. I spend time at his house every day, studying and working with him. He makes an effort to make me feel welcome in his home. He assembled me a care package with everything from a book I've been wanting to read, feminine hygiene products, perfume, and a set of pajamas. He continuously checks on in on me, but leaves me alone when I need to study and cooks for me. We ended up talking about the situation at hand when I took a study break to watch the Rugby World Cup semifinal on Saturday. I expressed my concerns to him and he listened carefully. He told me that he is hesitant because of the age gap as well, but has weighed the pros and cons and decided that he wants to ask me out. I told him I would think about it. We continue to gym together and I go to his house almost every day. I can see that I am making him restless by not giving him an answer. I want to say yes with all my heart, but I am unsure. I can see myself loving this man, and that is a very scary thought. I know the concern lies with what happens when we get older. Due to my career choice, I pretty much just live between my studies, work, and home. I've never been fond of going out. I have a bunch of very close friends my age, and they are supportive of me, because according to them, I have never looked happier than I am now. I just don't them to see him as a father figure, simply because he is older. I also know that if I enter into a relationship, I will be in it for the long haul, no backing out. This raises the question about what happens if this lasts? How will the age gap affect us? Is it manageable? I have never imagined myself dating someone so much older than me, but then again, I didn't bargain on ever meeting anyone that would make me feel so safe and secure.
I have always had difficulty forming relationships with people, especially men, my own age. That is not for a lack of trying. I have dated many people. But it never worked out either due to moral differences or due to geographical difficulties. I am also not a fan of the hookup culture that has been dominating the past few years. I struggle to find someone my own age who is willing to respect my decisions surrounding my body. I have also had difficulty having someone that understands the weight and importance of my career to me. Now, I can already hear the comments. No, I do not have daddy issues. I have a very healthy relationship with both of my parents. I am very close to them both, and I consider myself to lucky to have parents who have given me the space to develop into a well-rounded person, guiding me when I need it. I know my parents wouldn't mind me dating someone older, but I know in their minds older means maximum 10 years. In my mind, I know from the outside, a relationship with him would look lolitesque, or I would look like a gold digger. Both of these are untrue. Our relationship is healthy and built on the grounds of mutual respect and trust. I am also not after money. I live a comfortable life, am able to provide for myself through working, with the aid of my parents sometimes. I also live minimally. I like it that way. I usually don't care about what other people think, but I want to protect him as well. He cares much less about the opinions of others, but I don't want to possibly harm his reputation. I care deeply for him, and I can't stand the thought of losing him or harming him in any way. My question to you is simple. Can a relationship with such a significant age gap work? And if so, how do you navigate the challenges of starting a relationship like this and the negative feedback that comes with such a situation?